Hello everyone, GBA0499 here once again with another episode of Pokemon Mr. Nudge and Explorers of Sky. Chapter 10, Dusk Noir. Let's just get this over with. This, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not even gonna say anything. This, uh, this upcoming character is really plot relevant. And I'm getting kind of freaked out by this, so. <sighs> Start reading along with this. Because it's time to get back to our guild training, GBA. Let's work. Let's work hard. At it. Now that's what I like to see. A lot of, a lot of morning pep. Impressive. Let's see you put that pep to good use today. What? You can't identify the footprint? What do you mean? I'm trying to tell you. I can't identify what I don't know. What's wrong? We have a Pokemon visitor up up top whose footprint we can't identify. Diglett is an outstanding sentry. So let's so it's rare for him to be stumped by footprints. If those two were doing sentry duty, that'd be a no that'd be no shocker. Oh really? Well if it's so rare that Diglett gets stumped, what about when we first arrived at the guild? You guys could have recognized GBA's footprint. Right, GBA? Hmm? Say again? You want to meet our guild master? Your name is... Dusk Noir? Oh, please wait just a moment. D Dusk, Dusk Noir? The world famous Dusk Noir? Yep, apparently. Thank you for visiting. What an honor. No, no. Think nothing of it. The honor is all mine. There's no greater pleasure than visiting Wigglytuff's guild. It's famous. Excuse me, Loudred. What do you want? Who is that visitor? What? You haven't heard of Dust Noir? The famous explorer? Uh, well, you know, I, I haven't heard of him. That's not surprising, really. He's a new arrival on the scene. He came out of nowhere, like a comet. He became famous almost overnight. They see his talents as an explorer are super exceptional. So this Dust Noir is really that amazing? Yeah, here's some more good stuff that I heard. He does things like he does things unlike anyone else. First, he doesn't work in a team. He does all he does all his exploring solo, alone. That's right. He's got to be pretty sure about his skills to do that. But what's even more incredible? His wealth of knowledge. He says like there's nothing in the world he doesn't know. That's how much he knows. Wow, he's that knowledgeable. So the rumor goes. But he has used his knowledge to succeed on many explorations so far. So many Pokemon revere Dust Noir for his achievements. That's how I know the claims about his mighty knowledge must be true. Does Dust Noir visit here often? No, this is his first time. That's why Diglett couldn't recognize him. I think the Guildmaster just met him for the first time, too. Huh? Then why is he being that friendly? Well, that's just how our Guildmaster is. Even if it's the first time he meets someone. I see. Well, that must have been a quite that must have been quite a disappointment for your guild. Yes, that expedition was a waste of time. Didn't learn a thing about anything. I had heard that Wigglytuff's guild was mounting an expedition to find Fogbound Lake. I came here hoping to hear about your latest triumph. Sorry, we didn't learn a thing. Not at all. It's no trouble to me. This gave me an opportunity to visit you. I plan to stay in Treasure Town for a short while. May I visit with you occasionally during my stay? Your guild constantly receives the latest news. Good information would be a big help on my explorations. No problem. Other exploration teams visit us all the time. You're always welcome here. Everyone, this is Dusk Noir. He's going to stay in Treasure Town for a while. Mind yourself around him. Dusk Noir is very famous and quite knowledgeable. So I bet everyone would like to get advice from him. But let's not overdo it. We don't, we don't want to be a nuisance. Now everyone, our guests might be famous, but don't embarrass us by asking him for autographs. No, no. If it's autographs you want, if, if it's autographs you want, I'm sure that I can oblige. But information. I'm afraid you flatter me. I have very little information. However, I would be delighted if I may be of service to you. If there's anything you wish to ask me, please don't hesitate. Yup, yup. It's a great honor. Ooh, I'm so very glad to have met you. Come now, everyone. You're dismissed. I think I'll go for a stroll in Trivia Town. 
please do feel free to approach me with anything. Good day. I ain't saying nothing yet. <laughs> oh, you two! I'd started saying earlier about your assignment for today. Today I want you to read over the job bulletin board in the outline of this board and take some of the listed jobs. That will do. Okay, let's do just that. How much money do- Oh. Oh, okay. Let's, let's see what they have to say. We've been, away, we've been away a while and we just got back. While we were gone, I hear we and stuff's guild when ex went on an expedition. That's disappointing. If we would have known about it, we would have asked to tag along. How's your expedition? Did you happen to find any treasures? Yeah, that was great. It is rare to come by use on Zero Isle, right, boss? Hey, you two. Do you have any news on your, on Zero Isle? Zero Isle? Yeah, rumor has it the greatest treasures are there. But the treasures aren't the most fascinating thing about that place. When you go in the dungeon, everyone is temporarily dropped to level 1 and their learned abilities are zeroed out. From what, I, from what we've heard, you can't even take in items. Basically, you walk in alone as if you're a rank amateur again. No expression team's made it to the end yet. They're calling it the ultimate dungeon for good reason. Oh, and it shows. I was so freaking close to, to, to complete Zero Isle South. I'll, I'll tell you later. Drop yawn! You talk too much! Er, I'm sorry, my lady Revile. Okay. Uh, let's go take a look at what we have here. Least, um, too weak. Let's, uh, find... Okay. Find decoy orb, or... Uh, while exploring, I'm taking that. That was... Oh, wait. No, there's nothing in the was Okay. Uh, Scheme Granbull. Wicked Cast... Wicked Whisk Cash. Uh, Thief Dunsparce, Master Thief Dunsparce, Master Thief Away. Logless Barbage. And that'll do. Take all these jobs and uh I'm ready. But do we have anything on the team? Nope. Um. <clears throat> uh I'm gonna go uh, take a look at the uh what is this place called again? Oh Spinus Cafe, okay. I'm still freaking confused what this place is for. Did you hear the happy news? Why not? Thanks everyone's for recycling efforts. Project P recently made a new discovery. Okay. The sign treasure was discovered, so we're offering a higher grade of recycled items. Which means what exactly? Can I recycle something? Recycle. Uh... An Orenberry? I don't have enough items to trade for the Oren... Wait, wait. I need two apples? Oh my god. Uh, prize ticket, why not? Uh, I'll trade in, uh... Special band. Orenberry. Let's try though. Plain seed. And a burp seed. Yes. Sure. Sure, why not? Blue. Oh, so you do say say other things. Why did you shake your head? Okay, sure, why not? Oh cool, thanks. No. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, juice bar. Okay. What is this necessarily for? 
exactly for? <laughs> That's cute. Uh, uh, okay, I don't really n understand the point of this place. I'm sorry. Might as well look it up. Ah, welcome back. The money earned in your expedition. Please allow me to hoard it for you in my bank. Sure, here we go. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go sell some stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to sell this stupid plane scene. I don't really care if it's one poke. However... I'll just store the items that I have in here. Uh, full figure, deep play, all hit, all hits, deluxe, uh... A lot of gummies. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bit too much. Band and they're nope. I'm pretty sure that's it. So yeah, let's go. We're going to uh, go to. I'm gonna go to Mount Horn first, then Waterfall Cave. <coughs> Wait a minute. Dustin Warr said that he was going to take a stroll in Treasure Town, and yet he's not there. Where the hell is he? Nah, I don't care. Oh, jeez. Just ran into a Nato and used Nightshade on me. Okay, short floor so far. Oh, no, not Lee Seed. Anything but Lee Seed. Uh. I'm not gonna. No. I'm only gonna recruit the Pokemon that I, uh. That I have. I'm only going to recruit Pokemon only if, uh, only if the, only if it's okay to. Like if I'm on some kind of expedition over here and just trying to look for a certain item or deliver an item or rescue a certain Pokemon, I can do that. I'll do it then. But if it's an outlaw when I need to feed it or chase after it, no. Because I don't, I don't want them to attack uh, my my newly recruited teammates and waste all my reviver seeds. Not gonna happen. Oh, come on. Oh, looks like my normal attack for getting struck. Are you freaking shitting me? You cannot be serious. Get out of the way! You're blocking the freaking... You're blocking my way. Yeah, hard, who cares? Hello, Parasect. You keep on using Quick Attack until you, until you kill it. Come on now. There we go. Man, I love this beat. EXP, everyone. Let's get it. As long as it doesn't, as long as Parasite didn't, doesn't have an effect support, which he didn't. Which is good. Ooh, nice. What up? We're in the move. What is it? No. Dragon Claw. Nice. Do that. Oh, right. You're slow. Sorry about that. I forgot. Oh, the stairs are right there. Right. I haven't reached the destination floor yet. 
And now I have. Always start with counter when you're facing a boss or enemy. Strong enemy. What are you gonna do? Run away? What? 108 damage and you're still not dead. Sets. How though? That 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 makes no. S oh shit! He's running away. Not for long. <laughs> Can't run away from from an iron thorn. For real though, just get out of my sight. No, 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 I'm not done with this for you. Come on. Arrest, arrest, arrest. Gotcha. Ooh, apple. Petrify orb. I'd like that. use that petrify or to take down uh, one of those outlaws that run away twist band useless <laughs> no thanks ah oh, crap no Pretty sure I'm gonna encounter. Aha! Run away, huh? I think not. Not today, bitch. Okay. Uh. Oh, lovely. Okay. Here we go. Give it all you've got. Take him down. You get out of my way. Come on. Where's the stairs? Oh my god. Watch yourself. Surround him. I guess I guess the only way to uh, take down uh, an outlaw that runs away is to bring more teammates to surround it. I think that's what we should, I think that's what we should have done. Well, here's the here's the other outlaw that we're supposed to defeat. Haha, <laughs> nice. Soul Force. Wait, why did Soul Force miss? Soul Force. Nice. Can't move. Got him. I'm pretty sure that was the last mission. Okay, we cleared two, failed one. I don't care. Yep. Doing the poke. Okay? White gummy. And 64 rank points. Good. It was up for 3,000. Okay. For bounty. I don't like the freaking rule. I do not like the rules. In oh, yeah. Forgot. Team Skull is not here. Because it got knocked out by Wigglytuff. Oop, blot. What is this? Oh, Team Skull. There they are. Ch -ch Chief! We were, we were really put in our place on that last, last expedition. Ugh. Sha ha ha. Wigglytuff wrecked us. I'm not about to let it go. So humiliating. I need payback. One way or another. 
But to be brutally honest, we don't stand a chance against Wigglytuff. I'm so furious! It's burning me up! Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's gotta be some way we can get back at him. <laughs> I'd settle for picking on wimps. Oh, hey! Instead of Wigglytuff, how about we take revenge on the wimps in, the, in that team's soul force? Chop! Great idea. Oh, ho, ho. And we and we and we know that Team Soul Force is wimpy. Time to do some plotting, boys. Cha ha ha. Yeah, what are they gonna do now? I don't know. I really don't know. The face is still hilarious. Three smiles go for miles. Ray. Oh, you two. Before we get to work today, I'd like you to run an errand. An errand? Yes, an errand. Go to Kick Landmark and ask the owners if they plan to stock perfect apples. You want us to ask if they'll stock perfect apples? At Kick Leon Market? We should find out if they plan to sell perfect apples? Correct. And the guild storage holds many perfect apples. Or at least it can. But if the guildmaster raids the storage when we're not looking and uses up our supply, you know what happens if the guildmaster deprived of his perfect apples? But having to search for a fresh load of them is always a chore. Sending an expiration tape to Apple Woods when the supply runs out is just too much work. So if Kickline Market started stocking perfect apples, we could go buy them. Precisely. Okay. I'll go visit the Kickline Market. Great way. Wait. Great way to take charge. Yeah. Look at that was so godforsaken picky. It's dumb. Can't be just it can't be just an apple, it has to be a perfect apple. Oh, there's Dust Noir. Hey! Isn't that Hello there! You're from the guild, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we're Team Soul Force. We work at the guild. It's great to meet you. So what are you doing in town, Dust Noir, sir? Shopping? No, no, simply enjoying a chat. I hailed him down. The great Dust Noir is so very famous. We started a conversation, and what a surprising talk. The great Dust Noir is so worldly and wise, I'm thoroughly impressed. I guess the rumors are true. Dust Noir, sir, you really must be as knowledgeable as they say. May I ask, Shanks, what I can what I can do for you? Have you come to shop? Oh yes, fine merchandise, fine wares. Sorry, no. We came to ask you something today, not shop. You see... Hmm... I see. Perfect apples. I'm sorry to disappoint you. We have no plans to stock perfect apples. Oh, alright. That's too bad. Shotot will be disappointed with this news. Azuril, hurry! Wait for me! The Merlin Azuril brothers. Well, hello. Well, hello to you both. Oh, hi, Kecleon brothers. Oh, and Team Soul Force too. What's up? What's the rush? You know, you know how we've been looking for our lost item. Lost item? Do you mean the same one you were looking for before? Yes, an item called Water Float. A Water Float? Well, that is quite the precious item. Yes, that's why we've been looking hard for it a long time. And then someone said they saw a waterfall at the beach today. We're rushing to the beach now. <laughs> Juicy tidbit. Oh, oh, oh. Could be useful for our plan. We'll bring the chief up to the speed and then get and then get the jump on them. Oh, of course. Up to no good again. That's excellent. It's great that it's finally turned up. Yes. Yep. Come on, Azura, let's go quick. Yep. I was wondering how those little brothers were doing with their item search. Good for them. Looks like they found it. I've never heard of a water float. What purpose does it serve? A water float is an item specifically for Azura. It can be obtained only by trading precious treasures again and again. As such, it is said to be an exceedingly rare item. Gah! Is that so? Our line of work is buying and selling, but we have never heard of it. It must be exceedingly rare to sell such a rare item. I'm afraid such a day will never come. To sell? Oh, I just remembered! We have to report back to Shatter about the perfect apples. Let's go back to the guild. 
What? They have no plans to stock perfect apples? What am I supposed to do now? Um, we could go get some perfect apples for you at Apple Woods. What? You're joking! You previously got to Apple Woods. You failed utterly. I just can't take that. I just can't go through all that again. I'm sorry. You two were outstanding in your recent expedition. I recognize everything that you've done for us. But the incident with the Eagle Master and the Perfect Apples, it was a slightly traumatic incident for me. Squawk! I suppose I had to find the Perfect Apples myself. You two should just look over the job bolt and board the outline on this board as usual. Okay, okay, let's go. We're going to Waterfall Cave, so yeah. Let's skip this ahead, too. Okay, we are going to Waterfall Cave, so let's go. I'm pretty sure this is not, this isn't going to be a outlaw, this is going to be a rescue. So, let's go. Ah, dead end. Oh, huh. there's the stairs right here. Let's get grab some money there. Yeah, I might as well want to talk about something because I don't really have much else to say uh, what's going on right now. I'll tell you later. But if there's one thing I want to talk about, it's the, uh, I think the, okay, how should I say this? The Meavers Administrators. I've been uh, getting uh, banned a lot recently, thinking that I wasn't, uh, um, like, breaking the rules of the Weaver's Code of Conduct, and apparently I was. And when I made a post saying that I was, that, that I finally got Mega Man X7 and X8 on a PS2 emulator, that got deleted, and I actually called them and asked them why, and they said that, um, that they do not like, uh, to, uh, uh, hear, uh, the word emulator or just anything like that, which is kind of strange. Of course, they said, uh, it is okay for you to, uh, to, uh, to say of, uh, of what game you got or, and, and how and that you're going to play it, that's fine, but you just cannot, cannot say how you got it. Which is, which is, which I guess is okay. But it's still kind of strange, because right after when I told them that, uh, I guess I was supposed to wait two more weeks until I'm ungrounded or something like that. <laughs> so I told them anyway. And, uh, they just told me to play by the rules, and then I did, and by the time I got unbanned, I made a post saying, uh, about that one... <laughs> In the Mario Kart 8 salty commentary video that I made, of where there was this guy on about this, I think this guy was from Japan or something. We were on Mount Wario, and when the race started, golden mushrooms up suddenly appeared in a trail out of freaking nowhere, and along with bloopers, mushrooms, and stars just magically appearing in a straight line, like some kind of trail. And everyone was using it. it. It was crazy. We just kept on getting, uh, m magically getting a lot of stars, mushrooms, and bloopers, which was which was a disaster. Don't want to get hit by a blooper. And uh, and then what? And then after when after when I finished uh, making the video, I posted uh, I posted a post about it on the Mario Kart 8. Uh, the community on Meavers. That got reported. Uh, that got deleted again. And I'm and I and I think I know why. Hacker. There was a hacker in it. Apparently they don't like to hear. Apparently they don't like to see that word on there either. Luckily, I did not get banned again for making one mistake, which is good because I think they because I think they spared me on that one. Thank God. If I got if I got banned again for making that one mistake, I'm I, I would call them again and just say that this is just too much. 
I mean, Miiverse right now is nothing but a complete joke, honestly. It used to be fun, but now, but now that the, now that I'm getting all these uh, reports and comments deleted for some unknown reason, well, back then I, 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 I did know why it got it got reported because you know offensive language and all that. But right now, I'm just trying to play it safe, and apparently I'm not. And I'm get it, 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 it's kind of like making a risky text to someone, like a long and risky text to someone. You know that kind of you know that kind of thing that uh, probably uh, not, not that I, not that I have one. Like a boyfriend, girlfriend kind of thing. Just send risky test text to your bay or something like that. It's kind of like that. That's basically how Meavers feels to me right now. It, I, I did not feel that at all when, when I started using it. I just had no. I, I have fun. Now I'm just kind of worried on each post I make. It's like, is this going to be get reported or something? I don't know. And it's actually, it's actually kind of scary for me, to be honest. It sucks. It really does. It's not, like, it's not that the administrators are getting more strict. It's just that... Oh, holy fucking shit, I, did, I almost died. By waterfalls. It's not like the because... It's not, the, it's not because they're getting strict. It's mostly because that, uh... I think that I'm playing by rules. Apparently I'm not. Apparently I don't know all of the rules. So yeah. I gotta be extremely careful every time when I use Meverse from now on. So yeah. Anyway. Completed the mission I almost died by a water pulse. And I thought counter would counter it, but apparently it didn't for some strange reason. It's supposed to. Eh, I don't know. Some counter moves are so unfair to use anyway. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. You know, a lot of freaking gummies, come on. Yeah. Take him away. Get him out of my sight. Cannot believe I almost died by a by a mini whale fish. Up, oh, plot. Everyone, time for dinner. Yeah, let's get. Hold on, everyone. Oh, this is the part where he, where they're going to get butt hurt again for not eating. <laughs> Ahem. Before we start dinner, there's something I must share with you. Uh, yeah. Shut up, guys. Just. You ain't gonna starve to death, so shut up. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, out with it. Let us eat already. Quiet, please. Ahem. Now we just received word word of this. Another time gear was stolen. What? Another time gear? Another one got stolen? Uh, is it maybe the one in Fogbound Lake? No, it wasn't. The stolen time gear was not from Fogbound Lake. It's apparently from elsewhere. But that's the second time gear to be stolen. It would be extremely bad if a third were to be taken. Now, rest assured that I have full confidence in you all. But I must make one, one thing very clear. You must never tell anyone what you witnessed during our expedition. Understood? Of course! I don't have a big mouth! Eek! I would never forget the promise we made to Yuxi. Okay, okay. Quiet, everyone. Sorry to keep you waiting. Without further ado, on your marks, get set, chow! Wigglytuff, apparently that's how he chows. Why does he always keep on playing with this damn apple? I don't know. I don't understand that bastard. Just before dinner, Shatot said another time gear was stolen. That's two now! I can't imagine who'd be stealing them. What would anyone want with time gears anyway? I just don't understand. I don't know either. When I was at Fogbound Lake, I saw a time gear for the first time. <laughs> first time. When I saw the time gear, why did my heart start pounding so wildly? 
I must be reading too much into this. My pulse raced when I saw the time gear. The time gear is being stolen. No, there's no connection at all. You know, when I think about it, GBA, I get this feeling that our expedition to Fogbound Lake took, a, took place a long time ago. Wasn't the view fantastic? It was like being in a dream. I wonder how Yuxi's doing. I wonder, how he, I wonder if he's well. Hmm. I knew it. I knew it. I shouldn't have trusted them. Soon after they left, another Pokemon would come. But this one, it stole the time gear. I should have done it. I should have taken their memories when I had the chance. I don't know what he, I don't know exactly what you're talking about. But you're wrong. No one led me here. No one told me about this place. I've known about the presence of a time gear here for a long time. I have no quarrel with you, but I am taking it with me. The third time gear. <laughs> Profile being a badass as always. <laughs> Up and at him, it's morning. Now let's go for miles. Hooray. Let's do our best GBA, just like we always do. What? What's going on? Okay, got it. Hold on. You too, Team Soul Force. Huh? Excuse me? You call? You've got yourself some visitors. Visitors? They're waiting at the guild entrance. Go see them. Who could it be? Oh! Azula and Meryl. Shakes the GBA! Hi there! Oh, it's you little guys. We heard we have visitors. Are you our visitors? Yep. I wanted to ask Team Soul Force for help. Help? Yep. We need your help finding a water float. A water float? Weren't you looking for that earlier? A water float? Yep, someone said was... Yep, someone... Someone said one was lying on the beach. We went there... We went there looking for it. We didn't find it. Instead, this is what we found. A scrap of paper? This, there's writing on it. Shakes read the message in the scrap of paper. Let's see, what does it say? The water float from the beach is now in our possession. Just try to take it from us. We'll, we we'll wait in the deepest part of Amp Plains. But knowing how weak and puny you are, I bet you can't even reach us. Cha ha ha. Can't handle it? Go cry to your big shot friends. Cha ha ha. Hey, this note. Hey, this note. It's a. It's a ransom note, isn't it? You little guys, promise me you won't. You little guys, promise me you won't go yourself. I suspect a trap. But the water float is very important to us. We really want to get it back, but I can't take Azuril to a dangerous place. I said I would go too. It's too much for you. I don't want you getting into any scary scrapes. I went to M Plains by myself, but many Electrotype Pokemon live there. I'm no match for them. I tried going many times, but I get knocked out right away. I just. I can't stand how weak I am. No problem. I know what to do. We'll go get the water float back for you. Really? You will? Yep. So no more tears. Okay. We're sorry to bother you about this. Thank you. You should see your faces. All that crying and laughing. Come on. Don't worry, though. We'll get it back for you. It's a promise. Let's go, GBA. We're off to Amp Plains. I think we should go to Amp Plains later on. Oh, I think we should go to Le we should go to Amp Plains later because I know I say this a lot. Amp Plains is a pretty tough dungeon. It introduces the uh, the monster house uh, mechanic, or not really mechanic. I don't really know how to explain it, but anyway. It's the first introduction to Monster Houses, and uh, I'm level 21, and I do not want to get knocked out easily by a bunch of tough Pokemon there. 
So, I'm gonna do that later. So, yeah. For now. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I will be seeing you later. So, GBA049. Signing out. Going offline. See you later. Oh. And Amp Plains soundtrack. So good. So catchy. Love it.